Richard Farns from Pennsylvania, Barnesboro, and I came for a challenge in uh, education. I'm David Hudson from Jackson, Tennessee, and I guess I decided to come because uh, I was really impressed when I came up to visit, and I knew that it was a good experience, and I'm really looking forward to it. My name's Eric Benting. I'm from Decatur, Illinois, and I don't know if I'm really scared, but I'm pretty excited about starting this whole West Point experience. Hi, my name is Kelly Lynch and I'm from Mardella, Maryland. And I came to the, um, West Point because I want a good ed education and I want to serve my country. Heather Groover, Roxbury, New Jersey, and getting in shape and being the best cadet I can. Jessica Cooper, Temple City, California. I'm looking forward to just getting through Beast and starting and then graduating. <laughs> Hi, I'm Kate Sliska, I'm from Albany, New York, and I'm really looking forward to the training that we're going to do and the teamwork. And we're all on the softball team, so we're looking forward to playing with each other, and I'm just really excited. My name's Richard Harding, I'm from Columbia, South Carolina, and I came to West Point for the educational opportunity and for a chance to get a career in the military. Uh, my name is Jake Mahowski, I'm from Columbus, Ohio, and I chose to come to West Point for the challenge and also the tradition. I'm Jason Warren from Berlin, Connecticut, and right now I guess I'm a little bit nervous, but not too bad. Uh, a lot better than I thought I would be, <laughs> and I'm really looking forward to it. It should be exciting summer, adventure filled. Well, my name is R.J. Hughes. I'm from Indiana, Pennsylvania, and the reason I chose West Point was probably because it's a good education. It's it's a great school because of the military training, and I want to become an officer. It's... My name is Troy Bupp. I'm from York, Pennsylvania. And I chose West Point because of the challenge it has an in-store educational, um, military, and physical. Just the challenge I'm really looking forward to taking. My name is Robert Mylon. I'm from Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Came to West Point to make arm my career. My name is Jeremy Davis. I'm from Fort Leavenworth, Kansas. What am I looking forward to the most? Uh, playing for the Army football team. I'm Thomas Kobalik. I come from Poland. OK. Um, why I came to West Point? to learn about leadership. My name's Steve Melton. I'm from Dallas, Texas. And uh, I came to get a chance to serve my country, get a great education, and play on the best football team in the nation. <laughs> I'm Cesar Rivera. I'm from Augusta, Georgia. And I came here to be an infantry officer. <laughs> my name is Craig Butera. I'm from Stony Point, New York. And 
I'm a little bit nervous, but I'm um, not as nervous as I thought I'd be. I'm, uh, I have a good outlook on the situation, and I'm, I'm glad to be here. Uh, my name is Michael Vaccaro. I'm from Tacoma, Washington. I choose to go to West Point for, I guess, the prestige, the people in it. I was looking, for, I'm looking for a type of people that you can trust, I guess, and that's what's here, supposedly, the honor code and all that. That's why I came. My name's Eric Vahinen. I'm from Milford, Michigan, and I came to West Point because I've always wanted to be an officer in the military. I just thought it was a great opportunity, and I'm really looking forward to it. Hi, I'm Chris Croft. I'm from Michigan. I decided to come to West Point because I want to be the best I can be, and I feel West Point can make me into that. Right now, I'm pretty anxious and excited, but nervous, too, at the same time. My name is Choice J. Moon, the fifth. I'm from Marysville, California. I chose to come to the United States Military Academy because I want to become a leader. I'm the Coleman Arab, Voorhees, New Jersey, and it's the weirdest feeling. It's like totally scared and totally excited at the same time, so. My name is Chris Gay from uh, Chicago, Illinois, and I decided to come to West Point because of all the opportunity it offers you after you graduate and the training it gives you for leadership in the future. I'm Andrew Lee from Connecticut and um, I'm excited, you know, I think I'm going to miss home a little, but uh, I'm excited about what, what's going to happen in the next couple weeks. And I basically came here for the education that they offer and uh, I was interested in military career. Uh, my name is James Jansen, I'm from Cary, North Carolina, and uh, I chose to come to West Point to get a great education. and. Uh, I'm really excited about being here right now. Uh, my name is Dan Wynn. I'm from Southington, Connecticut. I chose to come to West Point because it can give me one of the finest educations in the United States and the discipline to make it through life. And I'm feeling excited, you know, starting a new journey in my life. Uh, my name is Brian Campbell. I'm from just outside Albany, New York, and I came here because I want to be an Army officer. Well, I'm um, Jimmy Kim from Los Angeles, California. And um, came to West Point because I wanted to be part of the, you know, the great tradition, and because the great academics. It's, in, it's just an excellent opportunity. And right now I'm feeling really nervous, but it's more, more of a excitement than fear. So, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the United States Military Academy. I'm Lieutenant Colonel Maureen LaBeouf from the Office of the Commandant and it is indeed an honor to talk with you this morning at the beginning of reception day for the West Point class of 1999. Today is both a culmination and a beginning. It is the culmination of an intensive selection process and the beginning of new and unparalleled opportunities. Cadet basic training is intensive and rigorous. It will require total personal commitment, motivation, and determination on your part. In return, it will provide each new cadet with the fundamental soldier skills, the knowledge of cadet life, the physical stamina, and the mental discipline to succeed at West Point. Now I'd like to say a few words to soon-to-be new cadets. There are a couple things that I'd like you to take with you and remember as you go through the remainder of today and through the remainder of CBT, Cadet Basic Training. First, listen closely. You will receive many instructions today, beginning here. For example, if you're instructed to place your toes on the line, and this is the line, attempt to do just that. Not over the line, not short of the line, but on the line. Again, to the best of your ability. Second, try to maintain your sense of humor, and I know that's gonna to be tough. But you and your classmates are going to make mistakes. Trust me, you're going to. I did, we all did, all the cadets you see did. Third thing, remember, you're not alone. Every cadet that you see has survived our day in cadet basic training, as well as many of the officers like myself. So it can be done, and you too can do it. As I said, every cadet has experienced this day. And experience has shown us that it is best to take this one day at a time. And with each new day's experience, your own strength and confidence are built, and you go on. And that works today, and it'll work all of cadet basic training, and it'll work for your fourth class year. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Cadet Kurt Schaefer. 
Following my briefing, friends and relatives will be asked to move down to the stairs to the ground level and proceed through the north exit. At this time, I would like the candidates to prepare to move up the middle stairwell to the second floor of this facility. You will be going alone and you'll be taking your luggage with you. Candidates, once you reach the second floor of this facility, you'll follow the arrows to the baggage tagging area. Once you have tagged your baggage, you'll be boarding buses to Arvin Gymnasium where you'll begin in processing. At this time, please say your final farewells. You'll be going upstairs in just a moment. Candidates, when I release you to a table, you'll move forward to that table and secure one yellow tag for each piece of luggage that you have. On that tag, you'll write your last name, first name, and middle initial, and affix a tag for each piece of baggage that you have. When you've completed this, pick up your bags and follow the arrows to exit the sports complex. There you will meet your cadet guide who will take you to the pickup point for movement by bus to Art and Gymnasium. At this time, starting with the line closest to me, first 12 candidates, please proceed to the third table down. Candidates, secure one yellow name. With your last name, first name, middle and this line. Right name, you Quickly, quickly. You're done, secured on your own piece of luggage. Once you're done, so secure to your luggage. Once the tag is secured to your luggage, call When you're done, move to my right, your left, and be loaded on the buses. Move out. Quickly, candidates. Quickly, quickly. Good morning, candidates. My name is Cadet Buffalo. You will now begin your transformation into proud members of the United States Corps of Cadets. From this moment forward, you will address all upper-class male cadets as sir, and all upper-class female cadets as ma'am. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir! Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir! At this time, I want this side of the bus and this side only to grab your luggage, stand up, and follow me in a single-file line. On your feet! portion of your processing. You will follow all instructions and move quickly and quietly. When you are done with your processing, you will be escorted to your assigned companies. While in Arvin Gymnasium, you will pass water fountains and latrines. I authorize and encourage you to use these at all times. Do you have any questions? No, no sir. sir. Keep breaking off. Go down to the Secure your baggage. Follow me a single file line. Move out. Thank you. 
33. code states that a cadet will not lie, cheat, or steal, nor tolerate those who do. A cadet will not lie. We will be truthful in all instances. A cadet will not cheat. We will be fair. A cadet will not steal. We will respect others and their property. And we will not tolerate those who may violate these tenets. By signing the form in front of you, you will undertake the duties and responsibilities of being a member of the United States Corps of Cadets. One of the most important of these duties is to live by the honor code. As of now, you're responsible to uphold the code. Throughout cadet basic training, you will receive honor instruction, which will be continued throughout your entire cadet career. Are there any questions? No, sir. Up. Right here. I'm sorry, you know, I don't understand. Okay? Yeah. Understand? That's how you play the game, see? If there's any sign of being happy, they don't, you know, frown upon. You could be intelligent if you want, that's all right. As long as you don't show too much of it. You say you want a white trim? <laughs> At least I get your hair. Hmm? What are you, the sun? Well, yeah, Where? Oh, that's where you got that color, huh? You come to West Point, you're nice and cold. How do you like cold weather, right? I went to college in Washington State. Oh. Huh. You went two years, now you come here. You must right. like the military, huh? Right. Good man. Where are you from? From Fresno, California. California. I'm surprised you're not blonde, blonde. Mm. Why'd you wait? Did you leave this here? Your hair long for here, so you'd have the experience. You know, I meant to cut it before I came, but never got around to it. So then, finally, since it was too late, I said, "Well, I'll just go all the way and let it get cut off." Let it time. get cut off here. Well, you certainly did it all. What'd you say we cut off? About eight, nine, ten yeah, inches. Like down here. Mm -hmm. Let me just get this side the right length here. <laughs> That's not such a bad thing to look like your sister. A little bit more here. You may want a little bit more taken off next week, but we can do that next week when we have time to really fuss. Today is kind of rush, rush. 
And this is going to bounce up because it's yeah. all wavy and curly. Do I have to dry or anything? Nope. No? Nope, not today. No time for style today. Okay? four-year experience as a West Point cadet. The thousands who have gone on before you have made West Point a most esteemed institution. Beginning now, the highest standards of performance will be expected of you in all endeavors. Your new title is New Cadet. You refer to yourself only as New Cadet. You will address all male officers and upper-class cadets as sir. You will address all female officers and upper-class cadets as ma'am. You will speak only when spoken to. At this time, I will instruct you on the proposition of attention. Yes, sir. Yes, your hands will be along the sides of the trousers, you understand? In a manner like this. Yes, sir. Back. See, see the seam of the short right here? 45 degree angle with the feet. Next week, pick up your bags, follow me. Now I'll instruct you in the proper position of attention. Side by side on my line facing me. After you can, just put your bags on the ground. Did I tell you to fix your thing? Yes, sir. Then why are you doing it? No excuse, sir. Uh, no one to do as I tell you. Is that understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Fix your name tag. Both. Today you begin your full. Hurry up. That's good. That's good. I'll leave it. Today you begin your four-year experience as a West Point cadet. Thousands have entered before you, making West Point a well-esteemed institution. The standards are high from now on. Is that understood, New Cadet? Yes, sir. Your title is New Cadet and your last name. You refer to yourself as New Cadet and your last name from now on. You will address all male officers and upper-class cadets as sir, and you will address all female officers and upper-class cadets as ma'am. You will speak only when spoken to. Is that understood, New Cadet? Yes, yes sir. sir. When corrected, you will respond in one of four ways. Yes, sir. No, sir. No excuse, sir. Or, sir, I do not understand. As a new cadet, it is your military duty to maintain a high level of physical fitness. Good posture is related to physical conditioning and is likewise an indispensable attribute of good soldier. Maintaining the proper position of attention is easy if you remember one basic principle. Push up with the top of your head. Although you will move quickly today, you will not run. When corrected, you will answer in one of four ways. Yes, sir or ma'am. No, sir or ma'am. No excuse, sir or ma'am. Sir or ma'am, I do not understand. You will answer in a clear, direct, unequivocal manner. As a new cadet, you must take full responsibility for your actions. If you need to ask a question, you will state, Sir or ma'am, may I ask a question? New cadets, at this time, are there any questions? Sure. Sure. Okay, drop your bag to the right. 
replace your bag. Yeah, that's good. Your last you're last you're last last you're last you're pretty sharp, man. Pretty sharp, man. I'm good. You're not a member of the company. Training right The best company, company in today's training. training. As a member of the company, the highest standards of force. As a member of the company, the highest standards of force are down all times. Perform all your duties in a military manner. At this, do you understand this? My right shoulder to your left front. Move. At this time, throw my right shoulder to your left front. Yes, sir. Command of move that. You move on over that red tape. Yes, sir. Follow the right. right. Yeah, hold. Just look at me and look at me. Your left. Yes, sir. Look to your left from my right shoulder. Yes, sir. 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 Yes, do you understand me? Do you get that in lane number yeah, one? Do you get around and pick up your bag? Do not step on my line. Do not step over my line. Do you get that? You get that lane four. Step to my line. Yes, you can. Place your bag in front right. You could have, you're now a member of Echo Company, Cadet Basic Training Regiment, the best company in Cadet Basic Training. As a member of Echo Company, you perform all your duties in a military manner. The highest standards of performance will demand you at all times. Do you understand me, new cadet? Yes, sir. At this time, look over my right shoulder to your left. You see the right red tape on the ground? Yes, sir. When I gave you the order, I want you to secure your bag. Move out. Follow the red tape. Report to the company area of the first sergeant. Yes, sir. Should any time you go lost, disoriented, not understand where you are, Report to the nearest cadet in the red sash. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Move out, new cadet. Yes, sir. New cadet, where are you going? New cadet, step to my line. The next personnel name, explain, and demonstrate the position of stand at ease. Is it also a two part command with stand at being the preparatory command and ease being the command of execution? Flesh your part of your hand, right? Red command palm. looks and sounds Best like this stand at ease. Notice I return to the same position as parade rest. The only difference between stand at ease and parade rest is now my head and eyes will follow the movement of whoever gives the command. The person who gives the command walks out of my peripheral vision, my head and eyes Ready? snap forward Front. back to the position of parade rest. Freeze, eh? Are there any questions? No, no sir. sir. Squad, attention. Command of stand at ease. You will now execute the proper position to stand in. Order. Arm. Stand at ease. Right. Left. Face. Attention. Right face. Half step. March. Left. Just a 15 inch step. Left. 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 March. Left. Left. Remember, new cadets, you always step off with your left foot. This includes mark time. Left. Left. New cadets, all. One, two. Let's try that one more time. Mark time. March. Left. 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 Right. 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 Left. New cadets, all. One, two. The salute is given in two count manner. On the first count, you'll raise your right hand so that it touches the brim of your headgear. If you're not wearing headgear, you'll ensure that your right forefinger Got across, sir. touches your right Got upper eyebrow. Yes, Do you understand me, Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The salute looks as this. You'll notice that the hand is straight as well as the forearm. The fingers are together and the hand is counted slightly forward so that you cannot see the palm. Your arm is parallel with the ground. On the two count, you'll crisply bring your arm back down to the proper position of attention. Are there any questions, New Cadet? No, yes, sir. Execute the salute. Sir, sir, sir. You will execute your salute as such. You will notice that the arm is straight. The 
fingers are together. The hand is tended slightly forward so that you cannot see the palm. This portion of the arm is parallel with the ground. Do you understand me today? Yes, sir. Execute a salute. Terminate your salute in cadet. I did not refer to you in the cadet, sir. Ensure that your arm is parallel to the ground. Conquer all, sir. Terminate your salute. You will ensure that your arm is parallel outward with the ground. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Terminate your salute. Terminate your salute, Mr. Cadet. Terminate your salute, Mr. Cadet. I now instruct you on the proper reporting procedures to the first sergeant. Every soldier, when reporting to a new company, reports to the first sergeant. When you report to the first sergeant, you will walk to his door. You will knock three times. When he gives you permission to enter, you will walk within two paces of the first sergeant. And you will then render the proper salute and report. You cadet, you will look at me at all times when I am addressing you. Do you understand? Once you have reported and he has acknowledged your salute, you will terminate your own salute. When your business has been concluded, you will again render the proper salute and greet him with the company motto, which is, we conquer all. Do you understand, new cadets? Yes, sir. I'll now instruct you on what to say when you report to the first sergeant. When you report to the first sergeant, as in the case of the new cadet Dickens, you'll walk in two paces from him, salute, and say, Sir, new cadet Dickens, report to the first sergeant of Company H, cadet basic training for the first time as ordered. You'll now follow me. Enter! Leave the, op Leave the door open, new cadet. New cadet, you're just going to stand there or you're going to report to me? New Cadet Bakar reports the first time. New Cadet, stop. Drop your salute. New Cadet, you're going to call me a sir or am I just your buddy back on the block? Sir, New Cadet Bakar. New Cadet, stop. New Cadet, what was the proper way you were instructed to report to the first sergeant's office? Come to the door, not three times. Stop, New Cadet. New Cadet, whenever you address an upperclassman, you will begin your phrase with sir. Do you understand, New Cadet? Yes, sir. Execute. Sir, come to the door, not three times. Enter. Come to two paces in front of the desk. Salute. Recite, new cadet Bakar reports to the first sergeant, Company H, cadet basic training for the first time as ordered. New cadet, why didn't you do that when you came in the door? No excuse, sir. Get out and try again. Yes, sir. Enter. New cadet Bakar. New cadet, stop. Drop your salute. Did I just instruct you on how to call an upperclassman, sir? Yes, sir. Execute. Sir. New Cadet, execute your report. Sir. New Cadet. New Cadet, stop. You are to salute and execute your report. Yes, sir. Sir, New Cadet Bakar reports to the first sergeant of Company H. Cadet basic training for the first time as ordered. Very good, New Cadet. Go horn. New Cadet, what are your four responses? Yes. Sir, my four responses are yes, sir, no, sir, no excuse, sir. Sir, I do not understand. Very good, New Cadet. Welcome to Company H. Cadet basic training. I'm the company first sergeant, and as such, I'm responsible for your administrative orientation and your company in processing today. On behalf of the company commander, Cadet Captain Hawthorne, I want to encourage you to do your very best while you're at Cadet Basic Training. I would also recommend that you follow all instructions explicitly and maintain your sense of humor. Do you understand, New Cadet? Yes, sir. New Cadet, when I tell you to do so, you will sign into the company departure book as the New Cadet previous to you has done. Ensure that you print your name on the line and sign above it. The time is now 12.27. Execute. New Cadet, stop. New Cadet, did anyone tell you to cross the line? No, sir. New Cadet, I told you to sign in the company departure book. Execute. New Cadet, have you completed the task? Sir, I do not understand. New Cadet, you have not completed the task of signing in the company departure book. New Cadet, you did not print your name clearly above where you have signed it. Execute.
New Cadet, is that where you found the pen and paper when you got here? New Cadet, stop. No one told you to move. New Cadet, answer my question. Is that where you found the pen and paper when you found it? No, sir. Fix it. New Cadet, when I tell you to do so, you extend to me the proper military salute and the proper company motto. Do you know the company motto, New Cadet? Yes, sir. New Cadet, after extending me the proper military salute and the proper company motto, you will follow the black line to your right and report the Cadet in the red sash. When you report to the Cadet in the red sash, you will say, Sir, New Cadet reports to the Cadet sash as ordered. Do you understand, New Cadet? Yes, sir. New Cadet, where are you going when you leave this room? Following the back line to my New Cadet, stop. New Cadet, this is the third time I have to tell you about starting your sentences with sir. Make the correction. Sir, follow the line to the right to the cadet in the red sash and report. New Cadet, what color line are you going to follow? Black line, sir. New Cadet, this is the fourth time I've made this correction on you. New Cadet, start every phrase that you begin to an upperclassman with either sir or ma'am. Yes, New sir. Cadet, what color line are you going to follow? Black, sir, black line. Very good, New Cadet. Move out. Sir, may I ask a question? Yes. I don't know. New Cadet, that. do not talk with your hands or your head. Yes, sir. Sir, I do not understand what HCQBT stands for. New Cadet, that stands for Hotel Company Cadet Basic Training. Do you understand, New Cadet? Yes, sir. New Cadet, move out. Thank you. New Cadet, stop. New Cadet, I told you that when you leave the first sergeant's office or any upperclassman's office, you will render the proper military salute and the proper company greeting. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Execute. We conquer all, sir. Go hard. Move out. General and Mrs. Graves, parents, friends, and especially the members of the class of 1999. This is a significant occasion for West Point. On this day, another class enters to join the Long Gray Line. We all congratulate them on their decision to serve our country. They represent the very best our nation has to offer. The process of being admitted to this institution is demanding and their accomplishments to date bring tremendous pride to all of us. In a few minutes, the young men and women of the entering class will take the oath of office as a cadet at the United States Military Academy. As they take this oath, we should all be reminded of their choice to enter this academy. They have made the same decision that Grant and Lee, Pershing and Bradley, Eisenhower and MacArthur made. They will take the same oath on the same plane. They will have similar hopes and dreams while facing similar challenges. 
The statues of Eisenhower and MacArthur seem to preside over this ceremony and remind us all of our West Point heritage. To the new cadets, the American people expect you to do your very best, and that is what you must do to graduate from this institution. The West Point experience will prepare you mentally, physically, morally, and ethically. You will be prepared to lead the men and women of our armed forces. Selfless service to our nation will be your watchword. The words duty, honor, country shall be your inspiration. We all stand with you and know you are ready for the task at hand. Our thoughts and prayers are with you. The class of 1999 will now receive the oath. New cadets, raise your right hand and repeat after me. I state your full name. Do solemnly swear that I will support the Constitution of the United States and bear true allegiance to the national government that I will maintain and defend the sovereignty of the United States, paramount to any and all, allegiance, sovereignty, and fealty that I may owe to any state or country whatsoever. and that I will at all times obey the legal orders of my superior officers and the Uniform Code of Military Justice. You may lower your hands. Company A is commanded by Cadet Captain David Hillsman from Atlanta, Georgia. Cadet Captain Dale Edniston from Altoona, Pennsylvania.
seat is commanded by Jet Captain Conrad Langenegger from Old Tapan, New Jersey. by Cadet Captain John Hall from Burke, Virginia.
is commanded by Cadet Captain Timothy Johnson from Elk, New York.
Raise your shirt! Raise your shirt! Morning, Excalibur! Good morning, sir! All fired up this morning? Yes, sir! Ready for some good warrior training? Yes, sir! All right, this morning, we're going to test your skills as warriors. We're going to test your speed. We're going to test your agility. We're going to test your combat skills. We're going to test your intelligence. This is a squad on squad competition. All right, so all you squads are going to be competing against each other within Echo Company. It has nothing to do with the rest of the regiment. Once the day is finished, we're going to tell you who the best squad in Echo Company was at the Warrior Competition. So get yourselves fired up. One, two, three. We won the All right, this was when I say three. One, two, three, go. Let's go, third squad. Go, go, go. go, go, go. Come on, grab it, grab it. Go. Got to stand up. There we go, there we go. Come on. Get up, get up, get up. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, come on. There you go. Come on, get up, get up, get up. Come over a little bit. Go, go, go. Good job, good job, good job. My God. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Come on, go, go. Come on, come on. No, stay up, stay up. You gotta get down. Come on, go, go, go. Jump, jump. I don't pull down. Come on, take a running jump. Give me your arm, give me your arm. Come on! There you go. There we go. Come on, come on, come on. Get over there, get over there. There you go. It's 46 seconds. Good, it's good time. Good time, good time. Good time, it's good time. Three, two, one, go. Go! 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 Switch up, switch up, switch up. 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 Swit
Now you got some slack. There you go. Take your break hand down. out. Good. There you go. Lean back. Lean back. Lean back. Good job, Tony. Lean, lean back. There you go. Just let it feed through. You're gripping that rope too tight and you're not letting it slide through. Laying out the house right there. Laying out the house leg. Let some slack out and pull your buttocks down. There you go. See how that? Put your weight on it and the rope will slide through. Rock your knees out. Lower your butt up. Yeah. Lower some butt up. Come up this way. All right, your butt needs to be level with your feet or lower. All right, now look over your break hand shoulder. Start moving your feet. There you go. Get some more slack out. Good job. Good job. Now just speed it up a little bit. Move your feet. Let some slack. Lay down, 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 Lay down,
Spread your feet apart, you're gonna fall over. There you go. Lay it out for the All right, get off my Back it up. Back it up. Found off. Lane Bravo off for Pell. Lane Bravo off the way. Lane Charlie on repel. Lane Bravo on repel. Lane Charlie repelling. Lane Bravo repelling. Come on, Lane. Lane off clip. Lane three, off the lane. Move down to your right, down lane two. So that way. All right, there you go. Good job. They look good. Lane three, off the lane. Stand that left leg. Stand it. Yes, sir. Now you can put it straight. Stand it. There we go. Push it out. Lane Delta. Lane Delta. Lane Delta. There you go. Yes, sir. Oh, you do. Go ahead and keep, keep that break hand out. All right, Lane Delta, let's go. Let's Pull up a little bit. Right here, right here. Yeah. Okay. Put your butt to the side. You want to get down the wall. Just put it in. A little more, a little more. Lower yourself down. Let it. Keep your break hand out. Let it slide through your hand. Close the feet and jump down to the next one. I got a little bit of a lot. Yes, sir. Walk down. Walk down. Keep on coming, Lane Four. Get over there, Hump. You're good. All right. Anybody here? Let's go, Fred. No, you're going to be a sophomore by the time you get off this wall. Come with this, Go, Hey, Ned Miller, don't be using your guide hand. Your guide hand is flat. Imagine your hands on that rope, Lane. Why you never allowing it? Pennsylvania. Are you taking it to the boat? She's getting better than that, Ford. She's from Pennsylvania. Harrisburg. You know what that is? That girl you met? State capital? Yeah. Shut up. Oh, you need to get out of that state, man. Ow. You need to come back to Boston. Come to Ohio, yeah. Lane two? You better move like a purpose. Let's go now. Oh, Rock! Hey, you Lane. You're climbing lanes with the sound off of Rock. You learned Lane four. Lane four. Try your left. Get up your knees, Lane. Lane four. Try your left. Lane two. Spin it up, Lane. There you go. Let's move out. Move out.
Okay, now face the tower. Weapon on, okay, you're clear. Put your, place your weapon on the side back, face the tower. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Alright, let's go, Squad. Check this out. Let's see how we do over here. Alright, good day. What you got there? Alright, I see some of you got something, okay? It's good. So, see that? Doing pretty good. Outstanding. You're, you're on target there. Follow your squad leader the whole time in a single file line. Stay crouched, stay low. Any questions? All right, all right. Approaching the aircraft, you three are following me. All right. You're going to do a construct, tells you to, you guys all follow me. Understand? Coming off the aircraft, you back up the nose and move out. All right? Everybody understand? Move up to the log. Tell them you're moving. Tell them you're moving. Again. Moving! Go, go, there it is, go! In position! Okay, take out the fucker, Dan. I want you to take out that obstacle, okay? Secure yourself a grenade. Put your weapon to your side like you were taught this morning. So where is the buck? Check out your target, it's the first step. Check the target again, there you go. What's that job? Secure your weapon. David's moving. Move, Harris, move, move. Got your cover. Cover while I move. Moving. Cover me while I move! Got you covered! Moving! Cover me while I move! Got you covered! Moving! Get down! 
Davis, get down! I'm seeing him down. There you go. There you go. In position! Position! Hi, my name is Cadet Phoenix, and I'm the cadet in charge of this event, which is the Confidence Obstacle Course. This is where the new cadets come and try to overcome hey, Adam. obstacles Adam. throughout the day. That's Although they're not doing, yeah. required to engage any of the obstacles, uh, it is highly encouraged yeah. by, by us as cadre members and also as by, as by their classmates to try to increase their confidence to overcome these obstacles and it'll give them confidence for the rest of their uh, military skills that they'll be engaged in this summer. Kick your other leg up. Bring your hand over. There you go. Go, Globe. You got it, girl. Yeah, yeah. Now kick your leg over. Kick your other leg over. Kick this leg on top of the wall. Okay? Yeah. There you go. There you go. Pull up. 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 Pull it up. There you go. There you go. There you go. Now kick your arm underneath. There you go, Globe. Hey. Okay, let's go, Blue. Yeah, we got two going. more. Uh, wait, Tolson, hold up, hold up. Oh, the fuck up. Up. Get through that one. Oh. Here you go, Blue. Hold up. Yeah, come on, Blue. Come, blue. Like come on, Blue. Okay, two more. Never quit, never quit, never quit. You got it. You got it. There you go. There you go. No, no, no. There Reach you go. for your push. Okay. Push okay. Now scoot down until your feet hit the bar. There you there go. You go. Now bend your legs. Bend your legs. Yeah. There you go. Okay. Here you go. Watch your step on this one down here when you get down here. There you go. Very good. All right, three more, you got a big one, okay? So watch the step on the third one, okay? This one's big? No, this is small. All right, Cadet Vetsky. This is normal. This is normal. Watch your step. Now, this one's a big step. So if you're going to No, no. You can do it. Stretch. Stretch, stretch. Boom. There you go. There you go. All right, you got the rest of them. Pick up your canteens. Let's go, Bob. Come on, Bob. There you go. Yeah. Come on. There you go. Yeah. Good job, Archie. Let's go tuck the flowers in the log. Yeah, you guys hit the log and roll over. There you go. Good job, Timmy. That's one of the two of us got your squad.
Who up? Or you can do it. Don't quit. Don't quit. Go for it. Or you can stand there and look. Go for it. Go for it. You gotta jump. 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 Alright, Let's <laughs> go. Good job. Good job. Good job. Just with Blade. Yeah. You'll get Come a good feel when you get there. Hey, now, now get out of his way. He's got to roll. He's got to let him fall. Let him fall on his own. Just make sure he doesn't hit his head. There you go. That was pretty. There you go, Hemi. Come on, Hemi. Hemi, let's Stop at this next bar. That's it. Right there, right there. Yeah, right here. Drop. Good job. Good job. Stop right there. Stop. Right there. Stop. Right there. Stop. That's it. Drop. 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 Oh. I know. Let him you're next. Yeah, bend your legs when you're dropping one. Just land. Black. Legs are not bad. I got long arms. I can do that. Swing it every other one. That's, That's it. it. Stop. Good luck. Hey, hey, hey. This is one. <laughs> That we of the core are treading. Where? They of the core have trod. Hey, hey. Everyone to the right. Don't walk under the right. Don't walk under that net. We are here in ghostly assemblage. The men of the core long dead. And our hearts are standing attention. Oh, we wait for their passing head. Sir! Airborne! Send me some money, dude. First victim. Safety! You guys have slippery wrists. Yeah. Somebody, yeah. Alright. Ready? Alright. Next week. Let's go. Let's go. Colin! Grab a shirt! You guys suck. Alright, who are you? Somebody, two people come on down. At the same time. Come on, come on. I gotta grab my hand. Okay. So, but two more people come on down at the same time. Okay, who's so we're not going. Oh, yeah, okay. we are going. Go. Good job, okay. Beaver. Next man. Next hey, man. Next man. Woman. Next man. Another one? Yeah, you go. Next person. Person. Come on. Hey, come on down. Just put, let your feet go. Everyone's got to go up. I don't want to go feet if we're going up. Gotcha. Here I come. All right. All right. Come on, bars with the bars. Oh, Yeah, I'm burned. Okay. Yeah. All right. Uh,
I gotta see somebody do it first. All right, yeah, I was like, I'm always trying to make it easier for Kiaski. That's it, yeah, just get over. <laughs> Use that one foot and roll over it. There you go. Just there you go. flip your body. Don't, Edwards, don't hook flip. your right foot. Hook your right foot. Keep your left leg back. No, not the other right. <laughs> You're good, Edwards. Just pull yourself up. Pull yourself up. Use your leg in the stomach. I'm Captain Frank Loveridge, uh, officer in charge of Lee's Reaction Course. Uh, I'm the United States Air Force representative to the Department of Military Instruction. Uh, what we're doing out here today is we are evaluating the new cadets uh, in basic training, their ability to lead other cadets, and uh, through these different scenarios that you see in back of me right here. Uh, the task out here basically is to, in, within 13 minutes, they must accomplish the objective or the mission. Uh, by doing that, they disseminate orders to other cadets, and we evaluate them on their ability to lead. And that's what this whole course is designed to do, is to basically teach and evaluate leadership, the Leaders Reaction Course. Get under my foot. Get ready to grab her hand, Hart. Grab her feet. Joey, you want to go right up there? Ah! Come on, let's keep Joy. going. Yeah. Keep, somebody grab this foot right here so I can Use push up. There you go. Well, you got, got it, you got it. Ah! Sorry. Right. Right. Climb up backwards, chin, until Hart can grab you. Climb up backwards. Climb up backwards. Grab backwards. that rope. Chin. No, you aren't. No, you aren't. Keep it up. You can do it. Mm. You got flip over. I'm ready for you on All this right, side, Use my Kevlar. Use my Kevlar. Stand up. Use his Kevlar. Stand on his head. There you Too go. Ah. Come on, pull yourself up. Um, the next step's up to your head. Get everything over. Put it on my legs. Put it on my legs. Get, every, get your heads Thanks. above. Most I can't. I can't get it on your legs, Jackie. It's too skinny. Hey, Midbury, get down here. Get down here, Jackie. Scoot over. Give him room. Give him room. Jackie, I'm gonna lay on top of you and then I'm gonna scoot over. Okay. Bring your feet down. Hey, hold his legs. Hold his legs right here. Hold them. They're, they're not moving, dude. They're not moving. All right, let me get somewhere where I can lock my legs. All right, bring it across. Over this side. Okay, you get to right. Right. You gotta get that Just scoot it across our body. Get it off them, because it's been on there for a while. Be careful. Let me get somewhere where I can put my foot. Okay. Give me some place to put my foot. Guide it. This is the deal. If he puts it on me, I'm going to home scoot on you because I can jump off. All right. Drop, drop down to your armpit. Hold on. Hey, put it more on me. Yeah. Ten. Put it more on me. I'm trying. You good, people. Turn around. Can you guys hang tight? Yeah. Can you get over us? Yeah. And jump up, jump over there. Hey Holland, be careful. Not jump over and pick it up. Uh, Holland, get up, sir. Don't put it all the way up against the edge, because then you won't be able to get over. Yeah, no. Oh. All right, people, we need to quit there. Oh, all right, pick it off. Can you guys hold on? Everyone stop. Keep your foot in. How many people can we fit on it? Well, yeah, you can go ahead and stand on that. No, no, no. No, that's not going to work. Yeah, I will. Here you go. Can you help me? Good job. There we go. There we go. We don't need it here. Oh, there you go. Yeah, 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 there you go. Turn it this way. Yeah. Okay, guys. Everyone has to have one hand free. One free hand. Grab the other one. Ah. 15 seconds. Wait. Hold it. No, take it out. Take it out. Yeah. Put it in front of you. Put it in front of you. You need help? Yeah, right there. So we keep it like that. No, lay right it down. down so it'll roll. Right there. Right there. I'll hold it up. You right there. Dogs go out. You can't. Yeah, good, good. Come on, come on. 
Do you need help? Yeah. We got it. Okay. One of you has to go yeah, up. We got it. Don't let go. All right, good. Good job, guys. Okay. There we go. Hold on. That's a good job. Here we go. Good job. Good job. Looking good. Looking good, guys. Very good. Okay. All right. Yeah, just a hand. Yeah. Okay. All right. There's only one rope. We're going to have to move everybody up. Okay, wait. We got to yeah. slip it out underneath. Ready? Hold on, can you, can you, can you behind it? I'm pushing right. off. Go. All right. Just wait for everybody to get up before you go down, right, Mark? Because we're going to need the rope to get down. Mark, wait, wait. Oh. wait yeah, four guys are. We need oh. a rope to do it so everybody else come up. Quickly, guys, let's go. Let's just first. All right. Excalibur and bring in the class 99 motto Cadet Pete Twiddell. This is something that's going to stick with you all your lives. This is something you need to be proud of. This is something you need to stand behind as a class. When we bring this motto up, when Cadet Price and the Sergeant Major bring this motto up, I want to hear a loud and thunderous roar, because this is something you can be proud of. This is something united as a class you can be proud of. Here they come. With duty in mind, 1999. shores of Lake Frederick. All right, here we are, 99. It's the last night of Lake Frederick, and we've got a show for you. We've got 15 great acts. We've got singing. We've got dancing. We've got music. We've got rap. we got three guys who escaped from the circus. We've got it all. So sit back and relax, because we've got talent coming out of our ears. Oh, I wonder, wonder who but Who? Who wrote the book of my Yes. 
inside my mind. First class girl, we've been living in a first class world. Still she raises us every day, cause she knows what kind of games we play. What can we say? And when she's calling that cadence so fire-yay-yay, we can't help staring when she's mocking Tai-yay-yay. We'll think she's not so tough just because we're in love with an upper-class girl. We've been living in a fourth-class world. It won't talk to us anyway. Until recognition day, man, that's too late. Me and the boys are chilling last night. We were running for some love we didn't want to fight. Spotted a girl from LA, <laughs> incredible fox. So I jumped on my car like a jack in the pot. Hey, fine things, a lucky day. Sex go rats and I'll come your way. Friends with a senior are no heavy D. Eat my rip, a grip to watch the D. She looked at me. I grin at her face, said, that sounds cool, but who are you, Ace? Some call me plus a fuck you want me not to call me anything! But Vanilla Ice. Because you know I'm the best! Better than the rest. Cause you know 99's the best! Better than the rest! <laughs> Day by day, or oh, when you're going to a school like you at SMA, cause it ain't nothing but a plea thing, baby. Three low down pleas going crazy. K Dad, it's the label that they gave me. And all your thirsties, please don't try to haze me. Take my life less seriously It's only life after all Yeah Well, darkness has a hunger that's insatiable And lightness has a call that's hard to hear I wrap my fear around me like a blanket I sail my ship of safety till I sank it I'm crawling on your shores Run away, train, never going back Run away on a one-way track Seems like I should be getting somewhere Somehow I'm neither here nor there Super Tender Rocket! Super Tender Rocket! Super Tender Rocket!
Hey, for 99. This is a, a time you should probably feel a lot of pride right now, pride in your class. Don't ever lose that. Don't ever forget what it feels like. As you go in the academic year, things are going to be hard. Things are going to be different. Don't ever lose the pride you're feeling right now in your country, in the Corps, in the Army, and in your class. Strive to do well, and you can do well. It's all what you make it. Rock and roll, 99. Cool. With duty in mind. Class of 99 is dismissed. Congratulations on being the best company. Thank you very much. We couldn't catch you. We tried. Uh, we started with the Lance, with the Lance company, and made our way up, and just almost caught Alpha, but we couldn't quite do it. You already closed at that time. Pretty high speed, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Plus, you were uh, moving early where it was cool, and so you get to get done. And that's, that's really nice. That's the advantage of being the best company. So we represent.
Go 